Hey, I'm going to do a quick demo on how to get onto Google Hangouts. Um, the purpose might be to meet with colleagues or to meet with your students uh, virtually. It's kind of like doing Zoom, but it's a free app on Google. So first I'm going to go to google.com and then I'm going to make sure I'm in the right Gmail account. So I'm going to get into the one that goes with my work. And then there's these little uh, squares here for Google Apps. So I'll click on it, and then I'll scroll, scroll down and look for Google Hangouts. I have Meet here, which um, it's my understanding that that's a paid one, and um, I do have access that to that in my domain. Uh, you may not if you're using free everything on Google, um, so it just depends. And it's kind of similar, except it records. But I'm just going to look for Google Hangouts. Okay. And if I don't find it, I can click on More from G Suite. Okay. And I'm going to, I can look through here, like maybe look through the productivity. I'm just going to search it. Okay, business hangouts, mail merge. I just want the regular hangouts. So I don't see it. So let me try again up here. Let's see, hangouts, hangouts. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay, so you may need to click around to locate it, but notice it's the one with these quotation marks and a little talky bubble. That's the one we're looking for. Okay, Google Hangouts. And so here we can click through and look at some of their tutorials. Um, can I click out of that or just click through it? <laughs> All right, new conversation. So I click add and get started. And you start by entering name, email, or phone number, um, whatever your contact info is for them. Like maybe if you've been interacting with them before, you might be able to just type their name and the right email pops up. Um, I'm going to add an email now. Okay. And going to add it. Okay, so it says uh, start a conversation and send invites. And so there it is. All right, and you just keep doing that until you have all of your students or colleagues or friends that you want in this conversation added. And what I found helpful was that some of my students were more proficient at Google Hangouts than I was. So like I added all the ones I could and there were a few that for some reason I was making a mistake and I couldn't add them. Well, the students that I could add actually started adding the ones that I couldn't and they sent an invite to the Google Classroom. So sometimes your students can be so helpful with that. Like there's a way to set up a link um, and you can send the link to your friends if you weren't able to get them on email. So I hope that helps um, get you started in Google Hangouts. And uh, one thing I would suggest is try a trial meetup. Like instead of planning an official meeting or class um, where you have a lot on the agenda and you know then you feel um, defeated if something doesn't work, um, start an informal one or start with just one objective, one thing you're going to um, teach on or practice, just something very simple. That way you don't feel too defeated if it doesn't work the first time because usually the first time is when you work out all the kinks. I hope that helps and uh, let me know if you need anything.